Uh, thank you all. Thank you all for coming today for the Gu Gowanus Canal Conservancy's Design Summit. Uh, we're just so pleased that this has come together, and uh, I just want to thank all the GCC staff, volunteers, board members who rallied for this occasion. It's, uh, it's a good event, and I hope you're all pleased with the way it turns out. Uh, the, it, uh, the schedule for today, my, I'm, my name's Brian, Brian Quinn. I'm a board member with the Gowanus Canal Conservancy. And uh, I'm going to kind of step up to the microphone here to keep things moving along throughout the course of the day. We're going to start uh, first with a, a, our keynote speaker, Adrian Benepe, and then we'll move on to our first panel, uh, which will talk generally about spaces. I'll leave that to our moderator, Phil Silva, to describe what that means, the word spaces. Uh, about 12.30, uh, 12.40, 12 we're going to have a lunch buffet generously provided by Whole Foods Markets. Uh, if you haven't been to the new Whole Foods Markets on 3rd Street and 3rd Avenue, I, I definitely recommend uh, checking it out. The roof deck there is amazing, and it really is, uh, it's really, really is incredible to see this type of development uh, coming in. <clears throat> uh, after lunch, we'll have a uh, Michael Porto will... Uh, lead us in a discussion on systems. And again, I'll leave that to Michael to describe what he means by systems. And finally, we'll have our closing keynote uh, speaker by Mary Rowe uh, from the uh, Municipal Arts Society of New York. One more housekeeping issue. If you're here for continuing education units, uh, please see Amy Verrill. Uh, Amy, could you raise your hand? Here she is. Uh, if you need to get your certificate, uh, I think there's a sign-in sheet in the front, and uh, she can help you if you have any questions. So here we are, the Gowanus Canal Conservancy, hosting this event. And who is the Gowanus Canal Conservancy? Many of, you, many of you know us, but I'll just restate our mission for you. We are a community-based organization that serves as the environmental steward of the Gowanus Canal watershed. And our vision is an open, clean, and a live Gowanus Canal watershed. When I say watershed or sewer shed, I use those words uh, interchangeably. What does that mean in our area? A lot of folks hear the term Gowanus and they think about the canal or they think about the, the neighborhood as defined by real estate agents, which is kind of nebulous borders depending on who you talk to. On the screen behind me, you can see the canal actually, watershed actually goes all the way up to Prospect Park on up Flatbush, almost reaching the Atlantic's, uh, the new Barclays Center, uh, and includes a significant portion of Cobble Hill. And why are we concerned with the watershed? Well, the poet Gary Snyder said that we are all citizens of an ecological, e ecological community whose boundaries are defined by ridge lines. And while New York is a city of neighborhoods, we all know that, that New York is a city of neighborhoods. If we look deeply at the neighborhoods, we see that they're, in, in fact, based on topographic features frequently, which define the watershed. Park Slope, Cobble Hill, Red Hook, and the list goes on. Over time, our connection to the original landscape and its natural systems has been significantly lost. But whether it's Hurricane Sandy, our CSO problem, or the rise of novel ecosystems, we are reminded that Mother Earth cannot be dominated, even in Brooklyn. So now we're at what I think and the Conservancy thinks is kind of the start of a design renaissance. Uh, all these uh, sustainable de design terms, green infrastructure, um, uh, regenerative design, uh, urban ecology, these are terms that are growing in popularity and in recognition by uh, status quo forces. Uh, and it's really an amazing time to be here and now. Uh, it's really great to bring designers and planners in the watershed here today to share ideas about what's going on, to encourage communication, to celebrate work that's been done, and to envision work that's to come in the future. The watershed is full of potential here. This is a creative and vibrant community, uh, you know, from Walt Whitman to Jay-Z. Uh, Brooklyn really is uh, setting the pace and continues to do so. And the Gowanus Canal watershed, if you look at these boundaries and think about how many creative individuals live here, we have so much potential to tap into and to celebrate. 
And through the implementation of the projects we'll hear about today, I hope we'll achieve our organization's vision of an open, clean, and alive watershed today, tomorrow, and into the future. So uh, I'd like to move on now and introduce our first keynote speaker of the day. Uh, I'd like to welcome Adrian Banapi from the Trust for Public Land. Many of you know uh, Adrian. He's the Senior Vice President and Director of City Park Development for the Trust for Public Land. He's one of the nation's experts on the nexus of the public, private, and nonprofit sectors in public space development and management. He was born and raised in New York. He served as the New York City Parks Commissioner for 11 years under Mayor Bloomberg. Uh, during that time, he saw the expansion of the city's park system, including uh, restoring historic parks such as Central Park and Battery Park. He added, well, he, he helped to add 730 acres of new parkland, including such well-known new parks as Hudson River Park, Brooklyn Bridge Park, the High Line, and laid the groundwork for an additional 2,000 acres of parkland within the city. In his career, Adrian has worked in leadership roles on park and public space conservation, design, construction, and operation, and in the areas of city planning, arts and culture, historic preservation, and landscape and urban design. He also helped to create an, or empower several New York business-related organizations, from business improvement districts to park conservancies, including the Madison Square Conservancy, Jamaica Bay Conservancy, Histor Historic House Trust of New York, and Fort Tyron Park Trust. In addition to his bachelor's degree in English literature from Middlebury College, Adrian holds a master's degree in journalism from Columbia U University, where he was awarded a Pulitzer Fellowship. In 1987, he participated in the Mayor's Top 40 program, and in 1992, he was selected to participate in Leadership New York, a program of the Coro Foundation. Adrian, we are honored to have you with us today and grateful to the Trust for Public Land support for this event. Welcome. And look forward to your